Hi there, my name's Hugh and I'm a flute consultant here at Just Flutes and welcome to this flute tips video which is an introduction on how to play the piccolo. So perhaps you've just bought your first piccolo, uh, something a bit like this. Uh, this is a Yamaha YPC32, one of our most popular student piccolos, a really, really excellent place to start. Um, so you've got a new piccolo and you're wondering how to get a sound out of it. This is the video for you. When you open the case of your new piccolo for the first time, um, you will notice that unlike a flute, it comes in two pieces rather than three, and that's because most piccolos only go down to a low D, so they don't have those extra notes on the end. The other thing you'll notice, which you may not be so familiar with if you're used to playing the flute, is that there is some cork on the tenon where the head joint fits onto the body. That's to ensure a really nice airtight seal um, and it might be a bit dry when you first get your piccolo, so make sure to use some cork grease so that the head joint can slide on smoothly and comfortably. Another really obvious difference between a flute and a piccolo is that a piccolo is absolutely tiny. It's actually half the size of a flute, and that means that it sounds in octave higher. So if we finger a low D, for example, that sounds the same as a middle D on the flute. But aside from the obvious differences, there are also plenty of similarities. So um, the fingering system is exactly the same as on the flute. Um, so you don't need to learn any new fingerings and the method of producing the sound is also very similar. You blow across the top here to get the sound the same as you would on the flute. Despite the similarities of playing the piccolo to playing the flute, uh, the piccolo is kind of a different beast. And so here are some tips for you to help you get started with making your first sound on the piccolo. And tip number one is be patient. Uh, for myself, when I first started playing the piccolo, even though I had been playing the flute for a number of years by that point, it took me three days to even get any kind of sound out of it. Um, so don't be surprised if it takes you a little while to get there. Tip number two is to have the head joint uh, rolled a little bit more inwards towards you than you would have um, it on the flute. And also to have it sitting just a little bit higher on your lip and that will just make life that little bit easier for you as you try to get your first sound on the piccolo. Tip three is to remember that because the piccolo is half the size of the flute, each little modification you make to embouchure has twice the effect. So you want to have good air support and you want to keep your embouchure really relaxed and make the smallest adjustments only rather than very large ones. Tip four is Think high, I find it helps to think of the piccolo as an extension of the upper register of the flute. So where the flute sort of tails off right at the top of the register, that's where the piccolo takes over. But be careful not to try and get too high on the piccolo too fast. So a really good way of getting started, I find, is to play some slow scales an octave um, in range uh, and then just work your way upwards like that. So here's an example. and so on upwards until you reach into the top register comfortably and in a relaxed way. The piccolo goes super, super high, like really high, and it can be very loud and very shrill, and it can really hurt your hearing. So tip number five, and perhaps the most important thing is, invest in a pair of high quality earplugs and use them. You don't want to damage your hearing irreparably. Lastly, it can be really helpful to invest in a piccolo method. Um, there's plenty of really great books out there, and one that I would recommend is Piccolo Piccolo by Daniel Eden. It's a really great book, a good introduction to the piccolo, and a fantastic uh, companion as you take your first steps on this instrument. I hope you found this video useful, helpful, um, and if you've seen it and you don't yet have a piccolo, you can go and check out our full range on our website by clicking the link below. If you're passionate about the flute and about the piccolo, then you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one, and you can also follow us on social media. Thank you very much for watching, and happy fluting!